Most of the time when I have been exposed to vape or smoking, it's most commonly through the workplace. Other youth will bring in vapes or older teenagers. In schools, there are a lot of hot spots, especially bathroom stalls and on buses. 100% of our district bus drivers reported seeing vaping on the bus. When I was 12, I started to take nicotine because I got influenced with my surroundings, my friends. Every time I could take the chance to smoke it, I would take it. And I thought it was so cool of me for doing it. I thought that if I would do it, I would be part of the cool kids and then be able to relate to them. My fear is that students are now being exposed to tobacco and vape products at a younger and younger age. Big tobacco and vaping companies target minors and youth in their marketing techniques. These big companies know what their audience is, their target market. They will lead youth to think that vaping is fun and it's cool and it's tasteful because it has a lot of different flavors that tobacco can't offer. They use flavors like cotton candy, bubble gum, blue raspberry that are more likely to appeal to kids than they are to adults. Youth are the victims in this situation. Their brains are still developing and as they're being targeted, they're looking for comfort or coping mechanisms within these substances. The negative effects were putting me into a depression that I could not even look at myself in the mirror and tell myself that I love myself. Kids have no idea that when they use tobacco and vaping products, they are limiting their future physical and mental health. The brain is not fully developed until age 25 in most adults. So unfortunately, when people are vaping and using other substances with nicotine in them, they are developing their brain to require nicotine in order to be happy. If we can limit exposure to vaping and tobacco products for students of all ages, then they can find healthier coping mechanisms to deal with stress and anxiety. A lot of our legislators aren't aware of the issue that is going on in our youth currently. I generally want them to know that there is a problem with tobacco and vape, and the impact that your legislation can have on us is a really big deal. So please create legislation and vote on bills that will encourage youth to perceive tobacco and vapes negatively, and will keep adults from letting it be introduced into their lives. If there's a larger exposure to vape and tobacco products in students, then there will be a decline in mental health because if students are using that as a way to cope, then they're gonna have more stress and more anxiety and more depression added on. We are the future. Let's change this addiction and become better.